Chris, good to see you. So what well, are you telling them these days? I know we've had some volatility. I know gold, the safe haven's at a new high, but not because people are scared, but they're talking more about the dollar and just have an alternative of investment. Um, what are your thoughts? What are you telling the folks? Well, gold is traditionally an, an equity. Um, it, it's based on on its price volatility. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a hedge against the market. But you know, the thing that I'm really looking at right now is that traditionally stocks are riskier than bonds and cash. But right now, there's about four trillion dollars sitting in cash right now, getting less than one percent return. And from my perspective, I think that's even even riskier than than being in stocks right now for the fact that one. You're not getting any return, uh, and two, if you look at inflation over a long period of time, you're essentially going to lose money. So being in cash is essentially going to lose you money. Whereas if you have money invested in a well-balanced, diversified stock portfolio, not only are you going to see growth over time, but if you look at just the current dividends that that's that's uh, trading at right now, well-diversified portfolio will get you anywhere from two to two and a half percent in dividend yield, which is about two hundred and. 200 to 250 percent better than what you get in cash right now. Right, and you know I see that you broke it down. You're talking about dividends and and value, trying to find the value, and you're talking about areas that are overvalued and those that are undervalued. Tell me about that. Yeah, sure. So you know, right now, if you look at other things that are really overvalued, it's uh, you know Scott pointed out some of these these big tech stocks. Uh, they're they're calling it the FAA MG trade, the uh, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Google trade. You know, right now, you know, those are those are some places that are extraordinarily undervalued if you look at, at their, their forward PE ratios. Uh, the other thing is, is that they don't really pay much of a dividend. So if you're buying into these things right now, not only are you buying high, but there you're really isn't much of a potential for, for great dividend yields. So like in contrast, if you look at right now, uh, value stocks like Warren Buffett, for example, just recently made a huge investment, almost $10 billion into value-based businesses that are cheap right now. So places like Bank of America, Dominion Energy, you know, these are great areas that not only are very inexpensive right now, but are also paying a great dividend. You know, Warren Buffett bought all the big tech stuff years ago when it was really low. Now that's yielding fruit. And now he's looking for the value. And I think for any investor that's out there that has a lot of cash on the sidelines, uh, being invested in value at this point uh, is a much better deal than having money in your your large cap big tech stocks. That's interesting. So you wouldn't buy tech now? Is that what you're saying? No, I mean, if I had some cash, I wouldn't be adding there. Although I do think it's part of a of a very well balanced portfolio. But again, I think right now the the better bet is on things that are value based, just because you know one, like I said, you're getting it cheap, and two, it's paying a great dividend. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned that Warren Buffett um, tried to look for value and that he he bought into Bank of America and Dominion Energy. Um, you know, what is it about those? Is it the low valuation and the dividend yield um, that make it attractive? Is that would you buy those? Would you buy those? Um, I, I think I would look to buy something more of a, you know, on a, on a broader index, uh, you know, like a value based ETF. Uh, although I do think that those particular companies are very low, I think just for the sake of diversification and having a more risk-adjusted portfolio, buying a broader index uh, that's more value-based is probably a better bet for my money. Right. Right. No, I get it. And then, you know, you really uh, poo-pooed cash. You're really not a fan of cash, huh? Why not? No, I mean, if you think about it, cash right now, if, if you think about what you're getting in your own money market, it's probably less than 1%. And if you think about inflation since the end of World War II has gone up about 3.1% a year, you know, essentially, if you're getting one, less than 1% of your money, inflation's going up 3%, you're losing about 3% in purchasing power. So, you know, from my view, I think it's always a good idea to have a certain amount of cash, but to have most of your portfolio in it over time is a guaranteed loser. Chris Payne, good advice. Thank you.